What is going on, YouTube? Just doing a quick video here, uh, testing out my new iPad, which I gotta say is pretty cool. I didn't know if I'd like it at first, uh, but I gotta say I'm, I'm definitely on board. Uh, you don't gotta carry around your clunky laptop anymore, uh, and it's a little bit bigger than a smartphone, so you don't have to squint your eyes uh, to read or to check stuff out. Um, you know, I, I got this thing, you know, I'm big into research, I like doing research on stuff, um, obviously I like shooting videos on YouTube, um, and a number of other things, and, and this here does it all, you know, I listen to music, um, you know, I do got Spotify on here, and that's definitely cool to have, uh, a lot of, a lot of cool music on Spotify, you know, and it's free, and I know, uh, you know, they probably track the hell out of you, and, uh, you know, these days, you know, if you're if you're a working class individual, uh, you're gonna get the hell tracked out of you. Um, you know, it it just goes with the territory. Um, you know, I, I try not to to you know be stupid about it and uh, put all my information out there. But you know, there is uh, times when you have to to give your information out, and you know they're gonna track you regardless. So, um, just kind of wanted to show you. My newest hobby, my last couple of videos, I've been doing uh, knife making, um, getting prepared survival wise, uh, fire starters, um, uh, survival kits, homemade. And uh, my newest hobby here, I've kind of gotten into uh, aquaponics. Now, the reason I got into this, it, it really had nothing to do with uh, preparing for the end of the world or anything like that. You know, I. There's this episode of Doomsday Preppers, and you know there's two guys on there, and they're uh, apparently, supposedly, you know, prepping for Doomsday, and they got aquaponic systems going. I really didn't have that in mind for this. You know, I, I like uh, gardening, and I like growing stuff. I like growing my own food. You know who doesn't? Uh, you know if you're watching my video, we're probably uh, pretty similar in in our interests and in our hobbies. And uh, I gotta say. Uh, you know, I've really gotten into this particular hobby here. Um, so I just kind of want to show you my setup. And this is all, this is less than two weeks old. You know, so it's it's a starter system. You know, it's nothing elaborate, nothing fancy. Um, but I just wanted to kind of prove to myself, uh, you know, they, it could be done. You know, I'm not, I, you know, I'm not uh, brilliant when it comes to fish or anything like that. Uh but I'm going to show you my, my, my setup I got going on here. Okay, so first of all, I got the old fish tank. And as a matter of fact, this is kind of what got me into this. We had to get a new fish tank. Because uh, this one here started to leak a little bit. And I didn't really feel comfortable. Um, you know, I got these images in my head of this, uh, this big fish tank exploding in our kitchen. So kind of took that out of commission. We got a new fish tank. And I repurposed this one. Um, so as you can see... I got uh, bubble stones in there that's putting oxygen in the water. I got several goldfish. And I, I've just now got to the point where I haven't really had any fish kills. Um, you know, I did lose quite a few, and you know, you, you will um, lose fish. You know, starting out a new tank and a new system. Um, and I got several fish in there. A couple of them are, are actually starting to get big and uh, you know, seem to be doing pretty well. Um, I got a couple water pumps in there and I see a lot of guys systems they have one bigger pump and you know, they divide the water flow with PVC piping I picked these up at the Goodwill you know, I got a pretty good deal on them. so I just I pump two grow beds um, with one uh, one pump per grow bed I got some ornaments in there a couple mason jars that fish like to hang out in and up above um, I got this grow bed here. Now this is the, the newest grow bed. I did plant some things in here. It's kind of a, an experimental grow bed. Um, I, I got these seeds from, uh, I went to something, I don't remember what it was, last summer. and There was a university that uh, was, was handing out different, different seeds for um, you know, plants that aren't necessarily considered grow worthy, but they're kind of cool. Like uh, I think this one here is some kind of swamp weed, if I remember it. 
And I planted that down here. I haven't seen anything yet on that one. And I planted some dill back there uh, that has not sprouted yet. My bell siphons, I did lots of research on how to make a bell siphon and proper ways to do it and everything. And I kind of wanted to bypass all that. And I wanted to make something that was super simple, super cheap, and that you could find pretty much anywhere. Uh, this siphon here, it's actually an upside down Gatorade bottle. I cut the bottom off, I took the lid, and I hot glued the lid to the end of some PVC pipe. And I ran the hose. Where are we? Can't really see it. There's a hose in there coming down. And this one's actually working really good. Very good. Um, my other grow bed, this one, I started it about two weeks ago. I see some, there's some dill coming up back there. Now that, I actually planted this seeds. I was kind of curious if I could start seeds in an aquaponics grow bed. And apparently, yeah, you can. So they're kind of thin and scrawny at the bottom which may be due to lighting, I don't know, I'm, I'm still learning all this myself, you know, I'm not an expert. Uh, these two plants here, I kind of put in here, I bought these, you know, these didn't start out like this. I, I planted these, you know, number one, to kind of gauge the growth and to have kind of a, uh, a predisposed idea of whether anything would actually thrive in this environment or in my environment that I created and yeah this here that's a tulip bulb I wanted to see what would happen it's gotten big I planted this thing it was the, the sprout was just protruding from the bulb and it was tiny and now this one's actually starting to open up and I got a smaller one coming up right next to it this here I can't remember what it's called I cannot remember the name of this plant. I'm sure you guys out there probably know more than I do, and you, you could probably name that right off, but I do not remember the name. This plant here, it doesn't seem to be growing as well, and I think it's because it's probably not supposed to be planted in this environment. I'll probably end up taking it out once uh, some of my other plants start growing up a little better. And back here, like I said, I got a bunch of dill sprouts coming up. Well, those things, they, they shot up quick. Uh, one night I noticed a little bit of green, and by the next morning, that thing had shot up, and then the, by the next morning after that, there was uh, about 11 other sprouts that had shot up as well. And these two back here, I'm kind of excited about. These here are pepper plants, um, some kind of hot pepper. I don't remember exactly what kind. But I planted these, and I had kind of given up hope. You know, it had been a while, and I, I just figured that either the water temperature was too cold, because for a while there I had my, my water temperatures down to about, about 62 or 63, because it's really cold here where I am right now. And uh, I don't know, I, got a, I went out and got a thermometer, or a, a, a heater for the fish tank, and I took the water temperature up to about 68 to 70. And I don't know if it's because I increased the, the temperature of the water or if they just needed time to sprout. But yeah, these things here are really starting to come up. Now there's three there that I count. I think I planted six if I remember right. So we'll see if the other ones come up there. And... Not really aquaponics related, but uh, I bought this cool, they call it a bonsai tree, you know, it's, I don't think technically it's bonsai, uh, I don't remember, I think ficus, if I remember, I did some research, I think it might be a ficus bonsai, but yeah, I thought it looked really cool, it kind of looks like a woman, <laughs> you look at it, it's funny, I was looking at it there and I, I thought of that and yeah, I started kind of laughing a little bit. Yeah, I really like this plant, you know, that's why I bought it. And I know I did a lot of reading and, you know, this here uh, isn't, isn't so good. I think I'm going to take this out and 
actually planting it in soil, I kind of want to wait till it warms up a little bit, and uh, hopefully I can keep it going, uh, or at least maintain its growth until I replant it. And back here, I, I kind of wanted to do an experiment um, with the dill seeds in soil compared to the dill seeds in my aquaponics environment and see which one would grow better. And right now, it kind of looks like the soil is winning, not by much. You know, um, the, the stalks are a hair, and I mean a hair, uh, healthier looking than my aquaponics environment. And these here are, stalks are longer, which I don't know is a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but we'll find out you know, once they grow out a little bit more. And the leaves don't appear to be as big and, and healthy. So I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to turn out. And this back here is was an African violet or three African violet trimmings. Uh, I've got an African violet plant and I was trying to get another one going with trimmings. Two of them have uh, are about to expire and one of them actually looks really healthy. So uh, it's my first time ever trying to cultivate an African violet from trimmings. So I'm interested to see how that's going to turn out. And my last plant down here, it's actually a video about aquaponics and I'm showing you all my plants, is a bamboo that I picked up the other day. Both of these plants were really cheap. Like I said, it's like the dead of winter here. And these were 50% off at Walmart. Like I said, I love gardening. And it's something I always miss in the winter time. And it feels good to actually have plants, you know, while it's 30 below outside. And I got stuff like growing. That's, that's one thing about this hobby. Um, you know, no matter where you're at, I mean, if you're living in a harsh environment, you can control the atmosphere uh, if you do it right. And it feels good, you know, to be 30, 30 below outside. I got plants down here. But yeah, just kind of wanted to show you real quick on my new iPad. Again, I, man, I'm, I'm really digging this thing. I got to say, I like it a lot. Uh, I bought it on my lunch break at work. And all day long while I was working, I was, I was you know, thinking to myself, you know, did I just waste this money? It's going to be something that I benefit from. And... And I think it all depends on how, how you use it. You know, I'm not going to be, I hate Facebook. I'm not going to be, you know, flapping my jaw or, you know, typing away on Facebook all day. I don't, I don't do that. Uh, I like doing research, and I think I'm really going to benefit uh, from it. And I think, you know, if you're, if you're into research and, you know, you've got hobbies, because, yeah, I've got just a shit ton of hobbies and, this will definitely benefit you. Um, it's got all kinds of stuff to keep you organized. and <laughs> I, I need to, to keep organized. I think that's going to help as well. Uh, so yeah, there you go. There's my aquaponic setup. And other plants growing there. You got any questions or comments? <laughs> Just like in my last videos, you probably don't want to ask me because I'm not a professional. This is all one big experiment to me at this point. I probably won't have an answer for you, but uh, if you saw anything in my video that, that you got a question about, uh, just let me know and I'll, I'll try to answer it as best as I possibly can. Alright, thanks for checking out my video. Later.